In this video we'll be showing you how to speed paint the horrors of Zinch. Welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to be painting horrors of Zinch and if you are a Disciples of Zinch player for AOS or a Chaos player for 40k you know when you have horrors in your list you need lots of them. So what we're going to be doing we're going to be painting up pink, a blue and a brimstone today and as you can see I've primed these all in white and we're going to be doing that because we're going to be mainly using uh, contrast paints to start off with and these are going to kind of help with the white paint really make those colours pop straight away um, and then we're going to layer on top of them so what we're going to be doing for the first one we're going to be using Volpers Pink and this is going to be for the pink horror obviously for the blue horror we're going to be using Talisar Blue and for the brimstone we're going to be using a yand and yellow and those are going to be our kind of main base colors first so, so what we're going to do first is paint up the pink horror um, all the way up to completion then we're going to move on to the next model that it splits into which is the blue horror and then after that we go into the brimstone and then we'll look at all three together on the final image so what we'll do we'll be back for the first step for the pink horrors so the first step for the pink horror, as we said, it's going to be using that contrast paint, Volpers Pink. And for this, we just basically want to do one full cover across the whole model. And see, as you go on, you just don't want it to pull anywhere, but you want to make sure that everywhere is covered, that you want the skin. And as it goes on, you can just see how vibrant that white primer makes it. Um, you didn't need to worry about too much about being uh, neat and tidy for this, like for the teeth or anything like that. Just make sure you get inside the mouth, um, all the arms, I mean even if you get the flames itself, at this stage it's not too bad because we will be going over with some layer paints. But you just want to go all the way around on all of this. Um, look on the box art, but I mean it's very straightforward, it's basically the whole body, um, including these kind of head bits, the tail. Um, the feathers you can leave, if you do get paint on it, again, it's not that big a deal. The tongue as well, I mean, we will be doing that a different colour, but just freeze. Just make sure you cover everything, give it all a nice, decent coverage. Um, and like I said, as it dries, just pull away any areas that you feel like you've uh, kind of gone too thickly on it. And so it's not um, uh, pooling anywhere. But what we'll do, we'll cover all of this in Volpers Pink. Um, just make sure as you go around that there's no kind of in these corners uh, under the kind of areas here that it does get covered um, but yeah I'm just go all the way around and then we'll be back for the next stage and with the Volpers pink dried you can see it's given a good base coat and it does put in some shadows but it also is a bit blotchy which isn't ideal so what we're going to be using is Vallejo Warlord Purple and for this we're going to be using a dry brush um, and basically you then want to go straight over the top with all of this and this is just going to add an extra layer of pink you can just see there it's already starting to look a lot more pink than what we needed and you just want to go around and you just want to go across all of the top parts of this you still want that especially like there in the tail, you can see that dark pit, you still want that showing, but for the most part you just want all the highest parts all covered in this Warlord purple, and because even though it's called a purple, it is much more a pink colour, you can see it then just kind of blends everything together and gives it a decent colour. So what you want to do, you want to try and go around and just pick up where all the edges are, um, you kind of want to try and stay in the same motion all the way around. Um, you don't want to go that way and then that way on the same part because then you're just going to get lots of streaks but you just want to go up and down across all of this picking it all up and this will like i said fill in a lot of those blotchy parts add this extra kind of bright color a bit more pink to the uh, model so we'll go round cover it all um for this part, leave the tongue because we're not going to be doing that in this colour, but you just want all the body, the head, the hands, the arms, etc. So we'll do that and then we'll be back for the next step. And with that Warlord Purple dried, you can see the skin for this pink horror is looking very pink and this is exactly what we need. So now all that we've got to do are all of the extra parts. So we've got the tongue, we've got all of the claws, the teeth, 
um, for both the hands, the feet, and obviously the mouth. We've got the flames, which uh, we've got coming out of here. And then we've got jewelry, which is there. We've got the uh, bangles there. We've got wristband there. We've got footbands there as well. Um, and we've also got the feathers. Now, if you're running multiple units of pink horrors, you might find that you want to kind of do one color different per unit just to kind of differentiate them when they're on the tabletop. Um, in the past I have done different colored tongues or I've done different kind of flames depending on it. Um, so that is completely up to you. But the first thing we're going to be doing is all of the teeth and the claws. And for this we're going to be doing a Vallejo game color bone white. And basically you just want to go in and you just want to fill in all of these all the way around now. Once that contrast has gone in everywhere, it will kind of give you an exact idea of where all of these uh, teeth are and where the different uh, gaps are. And actually, if you just go up to where the gums are, then you can see exactly where you're going. Now, if you have messed up like I have done, just on that corner, once you've finished going around in this colour, just go back with the Warlord Purple and just kind of do it tiny little highlight there just to kind of cover up the mess so like I said you want two sets of teeth that are down there um, we're going to be doing all of these claws as well again just want to be doing as close as you can up to there and you just see it adds that kind of white white bone colour um, and just suddenly adds an extra bit of a difference to this model so we'll go all the way around we'll do the feet both hands, uh, well, all three hands in this case, the rest of the teeth, and then we'll be back for the next step. So with the teeth and claws done, you can see, let's just add that extra bit of colour. Um, what we are going to do, once we've done the gold, we are going to wash the teeth and the gold in an Agrax wash. So uh, the teeth aren't 100% finished, but the claws are. Um, the next bit we're going to be doing is both the tongue and flame, and for this we're going to be using moot green. Um, it's a very vibrant green, so again, it will add another kind of bright colour to this paint job, which is everything about Z, which is nice and bright and colourful. Um, now, Moot Green is a layer paint, so you may find, especially as you've gone over with the um, Wall of Pink and the contrast, that you might need to do two different uh, coats for this just to get a nice, thin, uh, nice solid colour. You just want to go in with moot green and all of this. Again, you just want to go all the way down and just be careful with the teeth. If you do end up getting a bit on the teeth, then um, we can tidy that up with a bit more bone white. And then with the flames, have a look on the bodies because some of them have little flames that come out of the arms as well. And then also the hands. And again, you just want to be as careful as you can when you get down towards that skin. Just want to be as careful so there you go just like that and then with these flames now the main part be nice and easy but you can see it kind of manifests from this hand here so as you go in you just want to kind of take a good look of whereabouts the flame is and what parts flame and what part is finger but as you go in just go in and tidy it all up and again if you do get any on the hands then a bit of Warlord Purple will fix that right up. But you want to do both sides with that. So we'll get all of that done in the Moot Green and then we'll be back for the next step. Then with the Moot Green done, we're going to be moving on and doing all of the gold parts. And for this we're using Retributor Armour. Um, we're just going to do a nice solid base coat on all of these. Now for Pink Horrors it's mainly wristbands and feet. Um, a few of them do have certain... Uh, let's see this one's got one a little ring up there um, and some actually have kind of big wrist parts that kind of go all the way up the arms so all of these you just want like I said a nice solid retributor armor base coat to start off with and as I mentioned earlier we are going to wash this with Agrax wash in a moment but you just go around to try and be as careful as you can if you do get a bit on again tidy up with that warlord purple but just retributor armor on all of these and then we'll be back for the next step. With that gold done the last 
colour that we need to do is feathers and for this we're going to be using Temple Guard Blue um, which is literally going to cover all of this um, again when you get up to the arms just be as careful as you can because you don't want to get any of this blue on that pink but all you want to do is cover all three of these and that side as well and like I said when you get into deep parts in here just be as careful as you can but you want to cover all of that in temple guard blue and with that temple guard blue we're onto the washers so the first one that we're going to be doing as we've already mentioned is an agrax wash and you just want to be going in to all of these teeth and all of the gold and you can see as you go into there literally just darkens down in all the gaps and just gives the teeth a little bit more definition that's perfect for what we want and then we also are going to go around the gold parts of this so you just want to as careful as you can you just want to kind of go all the way around shading some of the gold just give it a little bit of a worn look now if you get a bit on the skin either side of these bands that's not a problem because it will just add an extra bit of shadow we don't have to worry about trying to clear it all up but obviously just make sure you're not going in with too much at once that you're not uh, kind of dulling it all the way down so we're going to go around and do all the agrax first um, for the hands and feet we're not going to be using agrax we're going to keep them with the pure bone white but just do all the gold and teeth and we'll uh, be back for the next bit after that once you've got that agrax on there then we want to be going in with biltan green you want to be doing this on the flames just to get into all the recesses of the flames to give it a bit more depth and you also just want to go along the tongue as well just to it will darken it down a bit but again it will just add a little bit more definition rather than just having that bright green once it is dry we are going to tidy these up and add an extra bit of green just on the top parts but you just want to go in now if you've got a uh, warpstone green contrast paint you could go over instead with that just give it even more contrast but i do prefer using built iron green at this stage so get that let it all dry just make sure as it's drying that there's no areas that have been uh, pulling up at all and then we'll be back just to highlight the last few bits one final wash for the pink horror is a thematic blue contrast and for this we're just going to go into this temple guard blue on the feathers and just give it a nice cover it should just pick out the edges the kind of um feathers have these good spines so this contrast should just sit nicely amongst it all just add an extra bit of color to it all so what we'll do we'll let all of these washes dry just keep an eye on them as they do dry that there's no pooling or anything um, and then we'll be back just to do a couple of highlights and then the model will be finished and with all the washes dry all that we're going to do we're going to go in with those colors that we used before and just tidy it all up again so first thing we're going to do is just go in with bone white on all the teeth just highlight them all back up and just add an extra layer on top of this so the agrax is still showing in the recesses but you've still got that bone white showing then once the bone white is done on the teeth we're then going back in with the moot green on the tongue and the flames and that's it you just want to pick up the highest points on this just go around and just bring back that vibrant green on the flames as well just doing the highest point even that built town green kind of showing in the recesses but you just want the top parts being highlighted up a bit more and that would be it so once we've done this we'll move on to the blue horror and with the pink horror done we're now going to move on to the blue horror and for this as we said at the start of the video the base color that we're going to be putting down exactly like we did for the pink is Talisar blue and for this we want to go all over the whole body again don't need to worry about the weapons or the flames or anything like that you can kind of see as it goes on just how vibrant this is um, from the off and that's because of that white primer just boosting those uh, colors straight away so all you want to do is just go around cover the whole model um, exactly like you did for the pink horror don't worry about anything like the wristbands or the flames or the weapon um, we will tidy them up exactly like we did for the pink horror but yeah you just want to go around with talisar blue 
across the whole model and then we'll be back for the next step. So with that Talisar blue you can see it's got a good nice vibrant blue and to be fair we look at it like that you could actually leave it like this and just do the extra kind of the weapons the flames and the kind of golden bits on it but we're going to be using a dry brush and we're going to be using temple guard blue for this and this is kind of a bit of a brighter blue um just we want to kind of make it so it doesn't just look a kind of flat blue of the talisar blue you just want to dry brush up and down on all of the highest parts now for this you don't want to do too much so you just want to get the highest parts the arms the muscles you can kind of see where the talisar blue is settled especially in here you can see it leaves that kind of dark bit there so you just want to kind of dry brush up and down across all of this um, and just make sure that it kind of picks up a little bit of highlight on all the edges you're not doing a crazy one like we did for the um, pink horror this is just going to be a kind of pick up the highest parts and just add an extra color into it so you go around temple guard blue and then we'll be back for the next step and with the temple guard blue dry we've now got the skin tone done so for this a bit like the pink horror we've just got a few uh, extra bits of detail to do we've obviously got the teeth claws for both the hands and feet you've got the uh, flame parts the weapon and then any parts that are going to be gold as well so you're going to be looking at the foot band down there the one wristband around there um, and then you've got one if you can just see up here as well on the hairband as well um, but the first thing we're going to be doing it's actually like we did for pink horror and that is going to be the bone white so all you want to be doing is going in and highlighting all of these parts just with solid bone white exactly like what we did for the pink horror um, and go all the way around to make sure you pick up every single bit again if you find that you've uh, gone in you've accidentally got a bit on the skin just tidy it up with a thin down bit of a uh, temple guard blue just so it gets covered up um, but we'll go around we'll do the bone white on all of this and then we'll be back for the next step and now with the bone white done you can see it's just added in extra bit of color against the skin now a bit like the pink horror the teeth we are going to wash when we do the gold with an agrax just to add an extra bit of shade um, but the next color we can be doing is moot green again for the flames and the tongue now like i said in the pink color horror video you can if you want change up these colors if you want to kind of differentiate with blues and brims though because you're going to be summoning blues and also there's going to be a lot of blues and brims um, splitting from the pinks it's better to just paint them all in one and then you can just grab them as you need them rather than having to sort through unit by unit um, so all you want to do is just go in and again you just want to make sure that you don't get any on the skin just do the little flame parts like so on both sides and then the tongue is a lot of these tongues on the blue horrors are a little bit hard to get to so you just need to brace yourself a bit make sure your arms are on a, the table or on your chair just so you're not shaking at all you just want to go around and pick out all of the tongue so what we'll do we'll get those done and then we'll be back for the next step and with the moot green done we're then going to be going in with retributor armor exactly like we did for the pink horror on all of the jewelry parts uh, wristbands feet and then like i said there's little bits up here on some of the heads um but just have a look on all the model just spin it around kind of 360 degrees see what there is the other thing we are going to do is the hilt and all of this extra part of the sword as well the dagger um we're going to be coloring in this part around here and then this part here that goes around here so get all of this with just a nice solid coat of retributor armor and then with the gold all done before we do with the washers the last thing that we're going to be doing is lead belcher on the blade of the dagger now you just want to make sure you get a nice solid coat Again, when you get up to the hilt and the hands just make sure that you're nice and careful that you don't uh, contaminate either but yeah we'll just do all of that in lead belcher and then we'll be back for the next step and with the lead belcher done it's now on to the washers and for the first one as we've already mentioned we're going to be doing an agrax wash and we're just going to be going in a bit like the pink horror to go into all the teeth and just make sure it settles nicely over all the teeth and into all the recesses add an extra bit of definition to the teeth 
Um, all of the gold parts were going over. I'm just making sure that uh, all of the, them parts are sorted. Now, with some of these gold parts, they are tiny, so if you feel like you can't get it without uh, ruining the part of the area around it, then that's not too much of a problem if you do ignore it. Um, but yeah, you just want to make sure you get the head, the daggers, and all the wrist parts. Um, and then we're going to be back for the next part, which is going to be the green shading that. While the Agrax is done exactly like the pink horror, you just want to go on with Bill Tan Green on all of the greens. So just the tongue part. Now, obviously, you have got the Agrax in there as well, so just be a little bit more careful. You just want to do the front part of the tongue on this part, and then again on these uh, flames there. You can just see it's added an extra bit of a shadow into the ridges. And one final wash is going to be a thematic blue. And for this, we're just going to be putting it on the sword just to give it a kind of magical, kind of tarnished steel colour um, dagger of Dzeech forces. And again, you don't want too much on it, but just keep an eye on it as you do it that none of the uh, area does get too pulled. But just basically contrast on that let everything dry and then we'll be back just to do a couple of highlights and then the model will be finished with those washes dried you can see this dagger has kind of got a nice blue sheen to it and all that we're going to do exactly like what we did for the pink horror we're just go going in with the green and bone white and we're just going to go in do the top parts of the flames just let that built on green show in the recesses now for the tongue you just want to do the edge just highlight that part up and then again you just want to go in with a bone white and a small detail brush and you just want to cover up all of these teeth again even the agrat showing in the recesses but just bring that color back onto the teeth so we'll go around finish the teeth and then that'll be him and we'll be on to the brimstone next and with the blues and pinks done, it's onto the brimstone and these are, without a doubt, the easiest ones to do. So, first things first, as we said at the very start of the video, a Yandan Yellow is going to be the first contrast paint that we put on. And as you can see, when you put it on to that white, you instantly start getting those flames looking. Um, you could, if you really wanted to, literally do this colour and call them done. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're going to add a couple more colours onto this. But firstly, you just want to cover the whole of this model in this Yandan yellow. Um, you don't need to worry about anything kind of getting covered that shouldn't do because all of this is going to be the same um, technique. So we're going to do this, let it dry, and then we'll be on for the next step. So as you can see with the Yandan yellow all dried, got a nice start to that flame and like I said if you're in a real rush you could just leave it like this because brimstones are those last models you're throwing out in the unit but what we're going to be doing we're going to be using another contrast paint and it is griff hound orange for this and what you want to do you just want to basically go on and you want to go about halfway down all of this model you just drag all the way down and you just want to color in if you leave some parts in the yellow that's not a problem um, but like I said, when you go in like that, you can see you've suddenly got that flaming look. Now again, as always with contrast, make sure you're not pulling anywhere. Um, and you just want to go around and do both sides of this in the orange. Um, it's a nice simple step, there's nothing else that we need to do. You just want to kind of have a look, make sure you get, like I said, about halfway down. And if you even if you dab a teeny bit on, just kind of a little bit further just to show it's blending between the two. So once this is dried, um, we're then going to go in with a little bit of black just on the very top. So we'll let this dry and then we'll get back to that step next. And with that Griffound Orange dry, you can see the brimstones are really coming to life. And as I mentioned, the last thing that we need to do, just want a little bit of black and all that you want to do is just go across the very tips of it to add a little bit of smoke now it doesn't matter how much that you do do you don't have to go too far down you don't have to cover it all up if some of that orange and is still showing then that's not a problem but you just want to go around and do this on the very highest point all the flames 
and once we've done that we'll get all three horrors together and see the final products and there's the finished models now if you like this video please hit that like and subscribe button as it will really help the channel grow for iOS tactics and discussions check out the Tales of Sigma podcast and if you want any other models covered in future videos please let us know in the comments below and we'll be sure to cover them in future videos but until next time take care and we'll see you soon